Hello, folks. Pastor Rocky Branch. Hope you're doing great today. You know, the Bible says, Jesus Christ, our Savior, said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. Now, those are some great comforting words, but sometimes we face what we consider to be some great challenging times. You know, sometimes when we go through things and we're challenged by things, uh, often as we grow older, uh, quite obviously, it's health issues. As a young person is trying to get their license or get a new job for the first time, it's a scared issue. They really don't know what to do. A middle-aged person that's trying to get married, looking for a mate uh, with the world the way it is, there's a great deal of anxiety involved. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and he will by no means forsake you. In fact, the scripture says, whosoever comes to him, he will in no wise cast out. But what does it mean when Jesus simply has said to us, I will never leave you nor forsake you? Let me ask you this question. You have not always felt the power of God in your life, right? That's right. We felt it a lot of times. Hopefully, we'll feel it more times. But just because I don't get the tingling and the dancing and all that electricity sort of stuff that people say when they say, I feel the Holy Ghost or whatever the case may be, does not mean that God is not with us. God is ever-present. He cannot break His own word. And in His own word, He says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He is with you and abiding with you, taking up residence, home sweet home. He is there for the complete duration. You say, well, hang on. Hey, what, what about when I sin? What about when I walk away from Him? No, no, no. He doesn't leave. You've walked away from him. You have quenched or you have grieved the fellowship that you have with him, but he abides with us forever. Why is that important? Well, because we go through difficult times. We go through challenging times. Do you know that there's going to come a time in your life, if you live long enough, that probably, now it may not happen, but probably, you'll be sitting somewhere with your children up and grown and gone, and maybe your spouse has graduated on to glory, and you'll be sitting somewhere looking out the window. You'll be wondering about your life and how you've lived it and what Jesus Christ is to you. Well, the Bible says he's there. You might be approaching your uh, driver's license examination, looking to get your license for the first time, wondering what's going to happen to me. What about school? What about college? Some of you entering into college. Some of you getting out of college. Some of you wanting to get married. Some of you just getting married. Some of you celebrating anniversaries. Some of you rising over falls of which you have made, wondering, God, where are you? Jesus, are you still with me? I don't feel you. You know, many, many times we equate things by how we feel. Well, that's true in a lot of ways because if you eat too much ice cream, sometimes you feel sick. I do a PE class for homeschoolers on Wednesday. And this last Wednesday, which was yesterday, I ran the kids and ran the kids and ran the kids. And we were uh, doing flips and all sorts of stuff. And I had one girl call out to me, Coach Branch, I'm about to throw up. And I said, don't do that. Don't do that. And she smiled and she didn't do it. But she had been tossed around in her own jumping and spinning around. And sometimes we get to where that, you know, we get too much in us and we don't always feel well because we've done something that makes us feel bad. You know, Jesus Christ does not come based on feelings. He comes based on facts. So today you might feel weary. Today you might feel scared. Today you might feel anxious. Today you might feel depressed, discouraged, despondent. But I want to tell you that feeling is good and it's valuable and it gets us along life's way. But feeling is not faith because faith is fact. The fact of God's word. Jesus said, I will never. He didn't say that your friends will never. He didn't say your family would never. He didn't say that your loved one would never. But Jesus said, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Loved ones pass on. Friends leave. People move. But Jesus Christ abides forever. To God be the glory. Great things he hath done. So in the quietness of your moment today, perhaps the things that you're challenged by the most are ever present. Maybe you're fighting a bit uphill. Let me encourage you to say, thank God, Jesus is ever-present. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.